happening today. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket is set to take off for the International Space Station later this evening. Their mission is to swap out crews up at the ISS, but that launch was scrubbed earlier this week due to a hydraulics issue, further delaying the return to Earth for Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. They've been up at the space station since last June, it's supposed to be eight days. Now it's been nine months. News Nation's Brooke Schaefer with the latest. Okay, Brooke, we are sending out good juju into the atmosphere, manifesting liftoff tonight. Is it all systems go so far? As of right now, everything is looking very good, Marky. NASA says that SpaceX teams worked on the issue and that they are ready to go for launch today, 7.03 p.m. Eastern Time. SpaceX ground teams, they spent the day yesterday inspecting the hydraulic system that gave them issues on Wednesday and caused them to scrub the launch for the day. There was a problem with one of the clamp arms that holds the rocket in place on the launch pad. NASA says that SpaceX successfully flushed a suspected pocket of trapped air in the system. And as of right now, they say everything should be good to go. So with the schedule right now, these four astronauts will get back on that spaceship later this afternoon. They will strap back in like we saw a couple days ago and we'll start that countdown process all over again. The crew, as you mentioned, is headed to the International Space Station where they will replace Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, those two NASA astronauts who've been in space for nine months when their Boeing Starliner capsule encountered some major breakdowns and was deemed too unsafe to come home on. Now again, everything is looking good today, uh, especially weather-wise as well, looking to be a perfect day along the space coast of Florida. But if liftoff does not happen today, there is another window of opportunity tomorrow. Marky. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.